An influx of students with English as a second language or English language learners has brought new demands and challenges for teachers in our school systems. So the question that kept coming up is what is language? What is learning? How can we meet our standards, especially with respect to uh, science and mathematics education? So we decided to develop a teacher development program that integrated how they thought about language, how they thought about learning, and how they thought about STEM education. So that's where the name comes from. It's English Learning Through Math, Science, and Action Research. What really distinguishes the ELMSA program is that we're truly an embedded professional development program. Our graduate team, our research team, is continuously working with these teachers from the very beginning for almost a three-year period. And, and that relationship actually continues beyond the project as we've been able to bring back uh, initially, you know, the first cohorts of teachers to really mentor uh, the, new, the newer cohorts uh, into the program. So we start off with the action research class. They do a pilot of this entire process, which is a two-week version of the journey. Once we begin unit one, they're working with their colleagues in developing a unit, and then they implement this curriculum in the classroom. The research team goes in and they videotape some of these sessions. And the teachers, meanwhile, are taking field notes. They start the year with the funds and knowledge inquiry process. And they go into the homes, they do surveys, they develop a variety of tools to figure out what do their students bring with them. And after they implement unit one, we take one month period to analyze all of that. And these are study group discussions with the research team. Then there's focus groups that we do with the teachers, asking them these very fundamental questions about language, learning, STEM education. So they make adjustments based on the conclusions they drew from their analysis. So they do unit two, then unit two is followed up with another analytic period. And then comes unit three. And after they finish unit three, which is about an entire academic year now, uh, they're also taking courses at UIC that, that's helping them think and reflect about the things that they're doing in the classroom. They take five courses that are aligned with the state English language learner ESL bilingual endorsement. They also take four additional courses that deal with science and math education, courses on learning, courses on action research. So all of these courses are a venue for them to reflect upon what they're implementing. So there's this constant exchange between what they're doing in the classroom and what they're studying at the university. And then we come to the thesis. By the end of this process, we're talking about a two and a half year journey. So now they write a thesis about their entire uh, journey from day one to uh, the end. And the thesis itself becomes a very valuable tool for us. That's where we actually see what kind of changes uh, have been made. We ask them to document both quantitatively and qualitatively. Uh, changes in themselves, changes in their students, and changes in, in the site. K-8 teachers pursue a master's degree, undergoing professional development, and becoming teacher researchers while transforming curriculum and integrating mathematics, science, and literacy for English learners. ELMSA means to me um, after 14 years of teaching in Chicago Public Schools, a shift in my thinking and my way of viewing my students and their contributions. I was amazed by how some of my, the students on my caseload were really participating, doing the math, reading, so just seeing that was something that really drew me to the program because I want to be able to do that as an educator. Language development is so important for English language learners. That's what Elmset pointed out to me also, that science is there for them in developing their language and their vocabulary. I have to say that in terms of this Elmset project, one of my greatest resources has been the staff at UIC and just allowing me to feel uncomfortable, allowing me to express my worries, also verifying with me, this is why we did this. How can I um, incorporate math, science, and literacy into everything I'm doing. So then, once I had this big picture of where I was going with identity, then I realized, oh wait, this fits perfectly with math and what we're doing with numbers. This fits perfectly with science and what we're already doing with that. And this already works perfectly with our literacy skills. Elmza enhances my teaching through the coding and looking at the videos and just everything that's involved in it. It's 
very comprehensive, but it's work that helps me grow. So it's, it's worthwhile. You're gonna be videotaping and you're gonna be analyzing this and then you're gonna be um, coding it and then you're gonna be transcribing it and then you're gonna be translating your transcription. To get to that place of empowerment is, is doing it and putting it into action. The way I look at curriculum has shifted. Um, I can't pick up a book now without seeing it through my students' lens. I, I think I practice that through the video recordings, through transcribing. The, 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 the learning, the third space, the knowing came from them and not me. And I played more of the facilitator role than the teacher role, which I really um, enjoyed. A person like me who comes from a different background, I grew up in the suburbs and now teaching in a predominantly Mexican neighborhood, it's really the one way that I can make a connection with these students to really learn their culture, learn about them, where they're from. So I think if these strategies are taught to undergrads, they'll be able to better relate to the students no matter what background they're from or what population of students they're working with. So what is that 133? You're looking at it in a different lens than, than uh, you said it. Um, Ben said 100, 133%. I mean, you said it's just 133. Help me understand what that 133 what? what? I'm thinking of this as the whole earth okay. and all these numbers are in here together. We what we're saying is that out of all these four races combined, only 33% of them have a bachelor's degree. Because we emphasize an open-ended curriculum and we also emphasize content integration, what happens is that the standards are met, but perhaps are not met in a linear way. Teachers, they are focused on what is good learning. What are, what are the strong principles of learning that we need to enact? So one is that we need to create open-ended curriculum. We need students to be able to uh, move in and out of different roles, different roles of expertise. So. As you saw in some of those classrooms, the, the students were up on the board, they were solving problems, they were making mistakes. And so becoming comfortable with that discomfort is something that you know, we emphasize from the very beginning. Looking back now at what AMSA did was shift my way of this is how I will cover it. It's not what I my plan, what I see, how I see it coming along. It's what else, um, what are my students seeing? How are they making sense of this? It's no longer about this is the answer. It's more of what, seeing things through their lens to allow them to make sense of their world. Not only did they score the highest I've ever had in teaching 27 years, but we had such good relationships that we still are in touch. And that's through understanding where my students come from and their background and how to develop a curriculum based on what I learned in their home life. I think just having that many teachers involved in such a program is a really good support system and I think it's great for the students. There's even more teachers that are interested in it so I think it's a really great and unique to have a university so present in an elementary school. It really helped my class. It was Fabulous, fabulous. Not only for camaraderie, for, um, but for language development and for test scores. And my teaching changed completely. With these demographics shifting, with our linguistic population becoming so diverse, rather than see this as a weakness or a deficit or something to be uh, shunned, we are asking teachers and asking them to uh, foreground and make central to their curriculum building, the, the lives and the experiences of these students. And so that's something that's very exciting for them, that energizes them. It's probably one of the main reasons they went into teaching to begin with.